Just a quick video of an unboxing of the SNK C0057A4L. That mouthful is the name of the heatsink fan assembly that is featured on many motherboards, including the SYS502AD-TN4T. Now, I just so happen to have a freshly unboxed sample here nearby that arrived recently, and that's a Xeon D1541 here. If we look carefully at the, silk, at the uh, number that silk screen printed on there, move this out of the way, you will see that it matches 00578. Okay, so same part number. You get the idea. So what we're looking at here is it's got some very small screws, but a PCI slot that's in the way that keeps the screwdriver from going in straight. You always have a slight angle. So what you're really supposed to do is remove the whole assembly if you want to replace just the fan. That's a bit of work, but anyhow, let's just get started by at least showing you what the kit looks like. And it's about $36 available on Wired Zone and other places. All right, we have a little bit of directions, but nothing as fancy as far as pictures. You'll see there's a metal back plate though, so to get to all that, you'd have to go under the motherboard, taking the motherboard out, right? There's our back plate. Oh, some 3M logo there. Aha, uh -huh. there it is. So that's a familiar sight. Any motherboard with the part number that uh, indicates that it comes with a fan, rather than one U servers that have higher thins or you know heatsink veins. The taller ones are meant to be fanless in like a one U server with air drawn across them. Uh, but the ones that are intended to be used with a fan come with this bracket on there. That part number printed right on there. But now we're learning that this part number is the whole assembly. It's the screws, the, the fan, the bracket that holds the fan on, and these four tiny screws that are not available anywhere that I could find separately. And that's the thing. These are easy to strip if you're not pushing straight in with a screwdriver. And again, trying to do that while the motherboard, while this is attached to the motherboard, is difficult. Possible, but difficult, especially if you do multiple insertions or removals and removals of these screws. Okay, and there's your Deltec fan. What's special about it is, when you look around and find the fan uh, on the internet, you will find the three pin non-PWN non version. Well, Supermicro mails it with the four pin PWN. So finding this actual fan, uh, third parties, is kind of difficult. And then finally, we've got thermal paste. Okay, wow, that comes off really easily. <laughs> Let's see, uh, don't really want to take that off until uh, using it or planning on using it momentarily. So that's it. I think I've covered what this looks like and how this works. At some point I might get daring enough to go ahead and swap out my whole fan heatsink assembly, meaning replacing the motherboard's fan properly, whether this one or say a GLID brand, which is a little bit quieter. Get the server situated so you can see what I'm talking about as far as the angle of the screwdriver. So you're looking at that screwdriver, and I got a nice pH zero. It's really hard to find a pH zero zero with a long shaft. But I did manage to find pH zero, and it fits in nicely. But I am not at 90 degrees. 90 degrees, you would be looking at the screwdriver straight shaft right now, and instead it's tilted up at a good 10 degrees. And that can be enough for you to strip the screw. Not likely though, if you're not pushing, if you're pushing in hard enough. You should be okay. Of course, if it slips off, you could really jam the screwdriver into the motherboard. So you want to be extremely careful and um, steady-handed about doing this surgery of trying to remove the CPU uh, fan shroud cover to replace the fan. All right. So I think I said enough there. Thank you for watching and for visiting Tinkertry.com.